Well, hello, hello everybody. Monty here, back with the next 50 years, 1900 on, of our Transport Fever to Hard series. Doing a nice little flyover of Gresham. The flyover is actually in the year of 1940. So uh, we're going to be kind of backtracking after we finish this flyby of the whole town. Kind of show off everything that we have built. Uh, one of the most important things was getting... Gresham here connected over with, uh, what's it called, Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, and Pomona is just making us that cash. Really, really enjoying that. Keeping the passenger train line to a minimum, since it's later on we can have the little uh, car there. It only holds 20 passengers, but that's really all uh, we want to do. It did have a little bit of a boom uh, as far as Baton Rouge. Uh, and then I did a thing. We added planes, and we have planes flying from uh, Pomona to Baton Rouge, which kind of killed the train transportation. So there's always the give and take of, you gotta be careful, you provide other faster transportation, and then it is what it is. Uh, but we're moving right along. The three city challenge is making it difficult with the small map and the small amount of industries and all that. Um, at the same time, it takes away my options. Like, we can only do what we can do, right? Uh, so I'm hoping, not this episode, but probably by next episode, ah, the beautiful view of these planes, um, is get all the cities provided with all the goods. But speaking of goods, the actual goods uh, resource is going to be the hardest one to do because it's going to require plastic and steel, a lot of transporting of a lot of goods, only for Gresham, which has a very low demand. So I haven't wanted to put all that industry together for something that only wants like 40 goods, right? You know what I mean? So anyway, the oil has been trucking along. We're now bringing fuel to Pomona. So that's what we're looking at. The crude getting brought on over the river. Uh, what's great is then we are producing the fuel right here alongside the river, but it does have a long haul. Uh, there's our train going to pick up some more stone for construction materials but this line is it's i love it it's a great line there goes the train going to pick up more fuel for pomona it has a lovely little uh, tunnel here and uh man i'm excited to just jump in and show you some of this stuff live didn't show the build out this episode next episode i'm going to do a time lapse of us building out that goods infrastructure uh the one that we're talking about there and then this is just fantastic. Because I can't plan where the vehicles are during this whole camera time-lapse thing. My next time-lapse uh, worked out even better. I think there's a plane landing as I zoom in. But again, this is 1940. We finally have some tall buildings going on at Pomona. I'm telling you, fuel and tool, not tools. Um, is it tools? Or is it machines? Oh, Pomona, you've got me perplexed as we backtrack and flip around and do some spinnies because the camera goes a little wonky here. But other than that, uh, there, there's houses trying to hide. Trying, I see you, mansion behind the, the, the cliff. Oh, nice, I cut out the weird spinniness. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. We have made it to Pomona. Uh, I'd like to add a train line here as well and uh, keep on keeping on. So you guys, thanks for joining me for another episode of the Transport Fever 2 Hard Series. Let's get to work. Alrighty, here we are, getting to work, 1900. Here, here it is, the next 50 years. So, we're doing pretty good. Uh, Five million in the bank, no loans. Now, trains are starting to get expensive, things are getting more pricey. So it's kind of, I'm playing the waiting game. I'm checking on my vehicles at the bottom right quite a bit, uh, making sure I don't have too many vehicles hitting bad. Uh, and when I do, I make sure I click on it, I manage the vehicle, and I, uh, I get the thing replaced. So I've been playing that game. That's kind of a lot of what's going on. Replacing old vehicles, uh, making that cash, keeping the positive money going. But we did build this track. This train, fantastic as it is, uh, is heading from Baton Rouge. Heading on over a brand new bridge, which we're going to have to do some work on, because I do want to eventually get shipping going, but that's next time. 
this is just to get a basic bridge over to Gresham. Now, it's not here to make me a ton of money. The reason why I put it here is I really need Gresham and Baton Rouge to grow one way or the other. Uh, getting goods to Gresham is going to be difficult. Uh, the goods factory is right here, but getting steel and plastic is not going to be an easy task. But I'm up for it, but not until probably 1960, 1970. We shall see. Um, but this guy's doing doing mighty fine. 31 out of 32. Can't complain about that. Uh, I mean, we could have waited like one more second for someone to get on. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Show up on time. Or, uh, um, wow, I'm going to have to talk to the mason about this. This is not uh, what we were hoping for with the bridge there. Yeah, things to be said. Construction materials getting moved nice and slow as we can. So this is 1900. Now, I'm looking at what we can do, right? So goods are going to be, uh, I mean, that's why I want growth, right? This, this demand is just disgusting. Uh, I mean, to the point of my train for stone. I mean, he's only got 84 now. I actually keep slowly selling off train cars. That's kind of how we ended the last episode. Uh, because the demand, the, the, the demand is low. Um, so that is what it is. Actually, I, I'd get a better idea of the demand from here. Because we're supplying Pomona, uh, or Gresham, and it only is going to ship 40. Because that's it. That's all they want. So, um, we're already shipping 38 out of 40. The rest is just going to, uh, this production will slow down, and then less stone will get moved. And this train will cost us more and more cash. So, got to keep an eye on that. Um, machines is no joke. And look at that demand. 24. So, I'm not going to move planks here. And steel here, because steel needs coal and iron and a whole thing, just to get 24 machines over to Baton Rouge. So we're going to have to wait on that as well. Food, on the other hand, I shouldn't, but I think I'm going to add a food line from here by train, because we already have a bridge, right? Maybe share the bridge and uh, move the food on right up here and then truck it on over into Baton Rouge. But... God, this, these, these demands are killing me. To get a perspective on that, check out Pomona, right? I mean, they want 100 tools. And uh, they want 109 fuel. So, you know what? Fuel. Pomona fuel. We have the crude. Oh, you know what? I said this backwards in my little intro. I said it's crude going here and being refined. But it's actually, unfortunately, more annoying. The crude's here. I get it refined. Then I got to bring the refined fuel back, and then I transfer it over to Pomona. But I'll make a train transfer here. And, uh, yeah, let's work on that. 1910, here we come. Hold on tight. And poof, with the power of magic, it's 1915. I know I said 1910, but I'm jumping even further forward. Instead of building the oil line together, uh, it, you know, it's a train track, it's a train. It's, it's a line. I think you guys would rather watch it, eh? All nice and done. Moving that oil. Actually, it's moving that crude. Let me get, speak correctly uh, here. I'm loving this Wild West map. But yeah, we have the crude going across. I needed to wait and make the money. Uh, actually, I'm not going to lie. I think I even took a little loan. I know, I know, uh, to pay, the, pay for this, but it very quickly paid for it itself. And now... Really? Now you come out with the 282 Mikado? I always forget the years on these things. That's why I still wish I had a uh, train encyclopedia or something in-game to access that showed me all the vehicles, when they come out, all that good stuff. I mean, or even a link to a wiki outside of the game. There's, these things are probably all here, and I'm just whining and complaining. But hey, yeah, so crude, going on over this way. Check it out. Consumers, Pomona Fuel Refinery. And we do have the Baton Rouge chemical plant over here. We're going to use that in the future because that's our only way to get plastic. And if we want steel, we have to do this. And if we want machines and we want goods, guess what? We need steel. So, uh, 
Uh, you guys, the troublemaking children of Gresham and Baton Rouge. But it, it is what it is, and we'll be fine. So, the good news is, is this is working. Um, the fact that they are seeing Pomona Fuel Refinery as a shipper, uh, destination consumer, means I've done something right. And if we go over here, and we click on train number five... Oh, this guy's a thing of beauty. So this guy... Yeah, he's hauling the fuel. 1915, 1916. Hauling that fuel, making that cash money. Now, if you hit 100 million on a hard mode, that's, that's an achievement. So we're going to be shooting for that. I don't think 10 million is an achievement, but hey, you know what? If it is, show me the money. Um, yeah, so here, here's our little train depot. I'm going to do some work on it eventually. I mean, I put the depot there and it all connects, but I'm going to need this space in the future. So this station's quite lovely right now. It brings the coal, the crude here. It's waiting. And then what's great is the crude trains double dip and right. You name me. I don't care what transport fever it is. I'm double dipping. Crude one way, oil the back, money, money, double dip, get her, get yourself done. Um, this guy, unfortunately, is just a one way train bringing the oil all the way to Pomona. Check this out. You saw it in the little intro because I'm a teaser McTeaserson. Goes on over. Love this back here. These little cars are heading on out to go pick up that fuel. And here they are. So some things I've done here, just so you get a look-see into the the functionality of what I have going on. I do have the trucks wait with a three-minute wait time. Because there's no point in running uh, for no reason. Plus, if they're waiting, as soon as the train arrives, the trucks are all ready and uh, efficiently moving the fuel. So let's check on Pomona and see what we're actually getting. 96 and our demand, look at this, since 1900. Remember, we were at like a 100 and 100. So, uh, fuel's doing mighty fine. Fuel's making that cash. Uh, now I say that, has it made cash yet? If I go to finances. Uh, income, over the last few years, since 1912, has been good. It was a rough, rough start getting going. Um, and that's why you always got to plan to have that extra money, right? It's going to take a while to get these profits, and then, yeah, anyway, things are things. But as soon as this guy drops off his uh, delivery, we'll start seeing some more money in 1916. And, uh, oh, man, it's rolling and rocking, rocking and rolling, and all those things. So as you can see, I called it. We're getting less and less demand from the uh, construction material plant, up to 48 compared to 40. So not great. Um, with that said, sell the unneeded vehicles. I already got another one on the way. Um, I have these guys holding until they're full. And if you look at it, it's not about lack of stone. It's about lack of demand. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, the train now holds 98. I, I bumped it back up. But we're going to bump it back down. And we get 200k refund out of that. Because uh, this guy's not storing as much. And if this isn't storing so much, the train is idle up here waiting. And it's just a waste of my time. Yes, siree. Okie dokie, 1916. We got some more stuff we got to get going. Gresham, 48. And we're providing 50. See, we're a little, little over, over the top there. However... Good news is, is we're very good with uh, all the stations and traffic, and we get plus 20% because of the public transportation. Um, so we're doing good. We are growing, uh, which is which is the goal. So let me get the food set up from here to there and uh, bring you on back, and we'll ride on another train together. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. I like it. Well, my friends, my folks of uh, transport fever to goodness, because it's just you can't get enough. Uh, I brought you in for a 
1928 update. Uh, wow, man, all these numbers every time you reload. We have, we have a train river race underway. And this is our new food train going to pick up that grain. The train grain. The grain train. I think, yes, there you go. Um, for, for Baton Rouge, because someone's got to uh, deliver the burgers. And uh, that is not a hawk. That is a real flying aircraft over there and up there. So, uh, 1928, and I did some things. Now, I did have this as a single bridge for some time. And we are definitely losing this, this race here. We're slowly catching up. We have the power. But uh, we just, it's hard to compete with all the cars. Um... Yeah, the train's still going okay in Lower Gresham. Definitely less and less people each and every time. And he's getting quite aged, so hopefully we'll get this guy leveled up. But I told you I'm bringing the green train. And that's what we're doing. So we connected it. Is it making money? Oddly, yes. It's, it's packing in a lot of the grain. Because of the nice distance of travel, it's actually benefiting us because by the time we deliver the grains, uh, a lot of it gets used up uh, over by the exchange. So, the Batten Burger delivery. The Batten Burger. So, here we have it. Like I said, we're going to be doing uh, road deliveries from here. And our consumers are up to 57 in Baton Rouge with a fantastic new. Come here, come here, come here. Fantastic new airport. Helping the town grow. Um, but it is pulling from our train line. So I warned that this was going to be a problem. However, I just love the additions of, of aircrafts and such to the game. Uh, and especially the fact that cargo is running. Because we are going to have to take advantage of the aircraft cargo uh, later on. One is to bring machines here to Baton Rouge. So I don't mind getting the airport infrastructure in place. Uh, we're going to also have to use airports to move the plastic at some point. And I believe I'm going to use planes to haul the planks all the way from over there, all the way to over here. Because I don't want to build a train right here. Um, yeah, because money's lower than where it was, but we are still in the green. We are still in the positive. Yeah, but I just wanted to bring you back, show you what we're doing. 1929. I mean, it has been a extremely busy 30 years, let me tell you. Uh, the three towns are really booming. Uh, Pomona now gets everything. Baton Rouge gets everything. We just have to worry about getting things over to Gresham. So that's going to be the focus of next episode for Shirzy. There's our fantastic stone train going by our fuel transition depot. And you know me. If I'm going to build around canyons, I'm going to try to make it to where we barely make this. Now, luckily, we have no landing gear, so wheels are down at all times. We might get a little bit of... Oh, we just barely clip the cliff with our wheels, but we make it safely into Pomona. Good times. Good times. But what do you guys think? What else should we get working on? Probably an express train of some sort. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. So just connecting everything right now, keeping the towns growing, increasing that demand for all the stuffs and then supplying them with all the stuffs kind of the, the the whole name of the game should be just supplying the stuffs to the things I mean come on now get with your naming system here so uh yeah things are going well we're up we're up high in 1929 getting our things going hauling our fuel just how it is my friends so I'm gonna bring you back one last time 
take a look at where we're at for 1950s. Uh, and then I'm going to bring you back for another episode of the 1950s all the way to the year 2000. I like these kind of 50 year updates, especially for this kind of a series on a small map like this. Um, so there's, 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 and uh, yeah, there's that. Let's hit 1950, shall we? It's only, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's almost 1930. Not much else is going on. I just got to sit around and make cash. Money. And again, click on this every once in a while. I'll just check conditions of my vehicles. Everything's at worst mediocre. I'm not going to complain. And vehicles are doing well. And the towns are growing. That's all we can expect. So yes, food's on the on the go. We got to get the goods going. But not yet. Not yet, my friends. Let's see where we are in 1950. Maybe I'll get the express line in. And uh, hold on tight one last time, and I'll catch you in a second. All right, 1950, and boy, we are talking. We are talking some growth. Now, we did get to upgrade the planes, which is fantastic. This plane is much larger than what you were looking at just mere seconds ago. Uh, with that note, these things still only hold 15 folks, so it is what it is. But nothing else new going on besides vehicle upgrades. I mean, that's 20 years of making that cash. We're now at $34 million because the next expansion is going to be huge. I'm telling you, bringing in the steel, uh, what we're going to have to do is coal and iron ore. I'm going to ship it. And then we're going to pick uh, steel over to the goods factory by trucks. And we're going to bring in plastic by plane. And I have special plans for that because the easy thing would be just bring, put a airport here and bring in the plastic. But I have plans over here in this quadrant. But that's for next episode. Uh, right now, I just wanted to show you where we are in 1950. Finally getting our good demand up a little bit. Almost above 60 here for our construction materials. So that is good news. Uh, we don't really have that many vehicles running that construction material line. Uh, but it is making good money. So if you look at my lines by balance, most things are making cash. Uh, some of these little passenger lines are, are not, especially, uh, like some of these Gresham lines, which I'll rework. If you look at the lines, I'm going to start working on efficiency. I'm going to loop further out and get less vehicles running in the middle of town. Uh, probably same with, uh, drop-offs of goods. Um, but right now everything's just about minimalistic efficiency we got to remember about hard mode. we got to remember about it's not as uh, forgiving <laughs> as uh, we were hoping. But, uh, yeah, it's not enough cash to get the express line in before 1950, so we're going to have to leave that, unfortunately, until next episode. Uh, but I think we did pretty good for these 50 years. Um, Baton Rouge, quite happy. Uh, at least it's getting food because it was getting nothing. I'm acting like, oh, yeah, now we're getting at everything. I think I even said that. No, we're not. We're not getting at machines yet. That's Machines are going to be the end. Um, because we've got to figure out how to get machines from here to there. And getting steel to here is going to be way harder than getting steel to there. So I'm going to focus on goods first. And then machines. Um, that's my plan. But hmm, I think I'm going to put an express line in from Pomona to Gresham before I do the goods. So stay tuned. we got plenty of things to do next episode. Uh, really enjoying that we got fuel and fire and all that I desire built up this episode because telling you crude oil, that's just like good old train fever hard times. That's where we started making our cash. And uh, we be double dipping every episode, all day, every day. So I'll catch you guys next episode, post-1950s. Hope you guys are enjoying the ride-along camera view videos. I do have the 1970s video posted, uh, so make sure to check that on the channel. Um, and then I will be going back and showing you, like this style, 
from 1950 to the year 2000. And seeing where we are in the future. Hence, we move away from uh, a lot of steam and start moving to diesel. I don't know what it is about me. I'm just not a huge fan of electric. I think it's just because it's just so much clutter as far as all the wires and the lines and stuff. Um, but we'll, we'll do an electric line. So you guys stay tuned for more Transport Fever 2 coming your way shortly. Hope you guys are doing well. 2021, it's trying to come at us hard, folks. And we're going to be pushing back with positivity and gaming and all kinds of happy times. So uh, you guys keep on keeping on and have a great day.